Hi, my name is Samuel, and I did the Japanese spider crab. Um, the size that the crab gets up to is uh, 13 feet in the legs, and the body size up to 15 inches. The weight could get up to 45 pounds or 20 kilograms. It is located in the Pacific Ocean by Japan and Taiwan. The scientific name is uh, this on the screen. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's Macrochira camphuri. A uh, reproductive cycle. Uh, they mate with the opposite sex and uh, make eggs. Uh, the Japanese spider crab does not hunt, but they rather uh, scavenge for food on the ocean floor. Interesting facts. They are omnivores. They cannot swim. They could live up to 100 years. They could live between 200 and 300 feet below the surface. They appear to be vicious, but they are actually gentle, and they are the largest living arthropod. And then, here are my two videos. Tourists love to go scuba diving. They plunge themselves into the depths of the ocean in search of the wondrous sights of beautiful fish and astounding coral reefs. But what if they encounter something else? What happens when they run into the stuff that nightmares are made of? What happens when they run into the Japanese spider crab? These chilling crustaceans are basically giant underwater spiders. One big difference being that they have claws strong enough to seriously damage human beings. Japanese spider crabs can have a leg span of over 3 meters and can weigh almost 20 kilograms, big enough to be capable of devouring a human child. In case that's not scary enough, they can camouflage themselves to appear like just another part of the ocean floor. Until it's too late. Are these crabs as scary as they seem? Why do some people believe they're immortal? And is it true that they eat dead bodies? How many of us float atop the surface of the ocean, riding waves or catching rays, without even realizing the mysteries that lurk in the abyss beneath us? One of these mysterious creatures, living 150 to 300 meters down, is the Japanese spider crab, the largest crab in the world. How safe would you feel in a tank with one of these things? At the end of its extremely long legs are claws that are known to be very strong, and pry open muscles and clams much faster than you could. And you might not even be able to see where they are. Spider crabs belong to a group of decorator crabs that cover their shells with items from their habitats to camouflage and protect themselves from predators. Maybe the most unsettling feature of these ocean dwellers is their apparent immortality. Spider crabs are known to easily lose limbs to predators and human nets, but they can survive while missing up to three limbs and can even regenerate them throughout their long lives. These crabs can live to 100 years, sometimes even more. As they get older, they also get bigger through a process called molting, in which they grow a new exoskeleton. The largest crab ever caught, affectionately known as Crabzilla, was almost three meters long and weighed about 20 kilograms. Although they may seem scary, they're actually not that intimidating. And molting is one of their first signs of vulnerability. As they grow bigger, their protective exoskeleton becomes too tight. Molting is the process of growing a new shell to replace the old one. The crab will take in a lot of water so that the body swells up and forms a crack in their shell that they can crawl out of. Once they're out of their shell, their soft body is exposed for approximately a week while their new shell hardens up. In that time, they're very vulnerable to predators like octopuses and stingrays. To most marine life, spider crabs aren't really seen as predators. They are the vultures of the ocean as they rely on scavenging to provide their next meal. They pick at dead and decaying matter along the seabed, both plants and animals. It's the animal eating that led to the mariner legend of these crabs dragging sailors overboard and eating them alive. While it's certainly not true, it's definitely plausible that these crabs would feast upon any drowned dead bodies that might come their way. If left undisturbed, they'll pretty much never cross paths with a human being. And even the humans who work with them say that they're gentle giants who are just curious about the world around them. So while they may look like something out of a horror movie, Japanese spider crabs are yet another example of why you should never judge a book by its cover. And that's why they're a crazy creature. Okay, 
Okay, so that's one of my videos, and here's my second one. The Japanese spider crab is the largest of all crustaceans. This species has a confirmed record length of 12 feet across when its thin spider-like legs are stretched out. Although claims have been made of these crabs reaching up to 19 feet, its center shell can grow to about 14 and a half inches. Japanese spider crabs inhabit deep cold water vents at depths of 160 to 2,000 feet in the Pacific Ocean near Japan. They can weigh 35 to 44 pounds. These crustaceans are omnivores. They may scavenge for dead animals on the ocean floor or consume algae and pry open the shells of mollusks. Males have bigger claws and grow larger than females. These crabs mate seasonally during the spring. Females carry fertilized eggs attached to their abdominal appendages until they hatch into planktonic larvae. Females can lay over a million eggs per season that are less than a millimeter in length. In order to grow, crabs shed their exoskeleton by molting. This can take up to two days. The crab is very vulnerable to predation during this process. Because their legs are so long, they are relatively weak and poorly jointed, and many crabs may be missing a limb due to a predator or net. Limb regeneration is possible during molting. Japanese spider crabs will decorate themselves with sponges and other animals in order to appear more camouflaged from predators. They can survive up to 100 years. However, they are occasionally fished for food and considered a delicacy in many parts of Japan. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button. Okay, so that's uh, my two videos. Uh, uh, okay, here are my sources. And those are the uh, two YouTube links. So that's my project on the Japanese spider crab.